morning, dear hearts. We are on lesson 208 in our review, our final review of part one of the workbook. We have a central thought. I am not a body. I am free, for I am still as God created me. Love it as I've called it a, a holy earworm. And it is, because it's going to get in there, and you will, it, you will have the recognition of it more and more it will become a belief a belief is only a thought that i keep thinking and then it becomes a belief this will be a very worthy belief to have because the belief the knowing that we are not bodies is completely freeing for us and will shift everything that we are experiencing and it will actually help all of these lessons to come together and to become more clear and uh, resonant within our life because they will make so much more sense when we realize that we are not limited by bodies or body identity. Not in a world of form we are, we are spirit, we are free because we continue to be as we were created I am still as God created me, and I love stillness. It's a wonderful thing. So the actual lesson that we are reviewing today is the peace of God is shining in me now. It's shining in me. How can peace shine? Well, peace shines because it, this is really the awareness that we have accepted the truth of who we are. We have accepted the holy instant that has shown us our true self and our true self that's that's what those big s's there our true self certainly does shine and peace certainly will shine through us peace is going to be a component an aspect of who we are because we are as god created us and peace and joy and and light are part of God. Remember our very first giant stride that I am the light of the world. Well, as the light of the world, I shine. We shine. We shine together. Let us all shine together. So um, the in the italics, the part of the lesson that is the, let's say it, it's expanding the idea, it's, it's explaining it, um, I will be still, I am still, as God created me, I will be still, and let the earth be still along with me. And in that stillness, we will find the peace of God. It is within my heart, which witnesses to God himself. So God couldn't be any closer to us than he is, because he's in our heartbeat this one and the next one and the one after that. He beats within us. We are one. He, we hold God within our heart. The Course tells us that, and it is true. God is not somewhere far out there, a man in the sky speaking to us or condemning us. God lives with me in every single heartbeat. We could not be closer. And to be still, and now, just not for me to be still, but for let the entire earth be still. Let that world be still with me. Because it is in the stillness where we step out of the chaos and the confusion of this world. The, the sense that I'm not worthy enough. In stillness, I can remember who I am. In stillness, all of my confusion fades away. All chaos is gone because chaos and stillness do not coexist. There's so many aspects of this course that have two things and only one of them can be true if truth is true then nothing else is true. Truth is true, and only truth is true. And the truth is that we have stillness within us. And in that stillness, 
is where we find the peace of God because God resides in stillness, not in chaos, not in confusion, not if in woulds or coulds or shoulds. God is certain, God is still, and God is peace, and God is love. So within that, the peace of God is shining in me now, and all of that light that we are is shining forth to cover the world and bring all of the sonship into the alignment with God's mind, where we are meant to be and where we really truly are. So practicing morning and evening and hourly and always within that time frame, as many times today as one can remember, we say, I am not a body, I am free, for I am still, still, as God created me. And because I'm still, no chaos can come my way. No temptation will come to me, cross my door, because I am still. I am in that space of God, God's still mind, filled with peace and joy and love. I am still there. Um, so that's it for today. But yesterday, or the day before, I said I was going to make an announcement. I think I forgot yesterday. But today, here it is. Um, I have the great pleasure of this coming Sunday, July 31st, of being the guest speaker uh, when Jennifer Hadley's uh, Sundays with Spirit. Uh, you can sign up for it at her website, the power um the power of Min power of love ministry. <laughs> um, too many words at the time of night. Power of love ministry, and um, it uh, you will then receive a Zoom link an hour or two prior to three o'clock. It's three o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and whatever time zone you're in, it will adjust accordingly. Uh, there's also a replay the next day if. For some reason, you cannot attend on uh, on Sunday. So uh, I would love for you to be there. There is no fee. Uh, obviously, they would ask, you know, uh, to tithe if you can. And if not, you know, it's understood. But, um, and I also just found out that I also will be leading the meditation after my presentation. So um, if you, I will probably mention it for the rest of the week. Uh, hope you can be there and uh, join and uh, see what 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 is she gonna say anyway uh, you are loved and please like please share please subscribe please comment please pray please be here tomorrow namaste